Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. I want to do another episode in my series on ministerial integrity. And we're in um, number 16, uh, the exhortation number 16, and this one is very simple. Be honest. Now, um, another exhort exhortation for the minister of the gospel is that he must be honest. Honesty is a chief characteristic of a minister, and it means to live before God and men in such a way that no accusations of dishonesty can be made against him. This is a chief characteristic of a minister of the gospel. He is to be blameless, he is to be blameless. Honesty in all transactions in life is very important and being dishonest is stealing. And this can be from hundreds of varieties. There are hundreds of varieties, there are hundreds of ways in which a person can be dishonest. Honesty needs to be manifested in all financial transactions in terms of buying or selling and employment, in contracting debts and in all financial relationships with the government. If finances can be arranged to avoid taxes legitimately, then that's one thing. But if taxes are avoided illegally, then that is a serious wrong. If you give up a car so that you don't have to pay car tax, that would be one thing. But there are many ways in which a person can avoid paying unnecessarily. However, in ordinary life, the minister of the gospel needs to be scrupulously honest in every way. Sometimes being silent when one ought to say something is just as bad as saying something that is untrue, especially in terms of financial transactions. And the minister probably would never go out and steal a car, but using other people's resources without permission and taking minor liberties can be just as bad. The minister of the gospel must be honest in all matters before the Lord and before men. That's quite a challenge. I expect it's a challenge to everybody. Everybody needs to think again. Everybody needs to examine himself to see whether everything that he does is scrupulously honest. Well, there we are. That's another uh, exhortation. We look forward to catching up with you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.